Hello viewers, this is Dao Fast here. In today's video, I will be installing the roof rack crossbar on this 2018 Toyota Highlander Limited model. Let me first show you the crossbar that I'll be installing on this vehicle. These crossbars are the black ones. You can get it in silver also. Here's a user manual and the tool. These are plastic end caps. Here's a look at everything you get with this kit. Now let me show you, each part is clearly labeled. This crossbar is for the front. This one is for the rear. Also the end caps are marked, which direction it needs to go. There's an arrow for forward. Here's the installation manual. The tools. Also if you look at the top, there's a sticker. This side faces front, so you know which direction it needs to go. This crossbar has a nice black crinkle finish. Looking at the roof rail on the top of the car, you'll see these plastic covers. There's one right here. There's another one over here. We'll need to first remove these. Use a plastic crimp tool to remove these. So let me show you the bolt hole that's underneath the cap. Right in the middle is where you'll be bolting the crossbar. Another thing I noticed on the one I have here is there should be a plastic disc at the bottom right here. This one fell off and you need to glue this back on before you install it. So I'm just going to take some crazy glue and glue that back on. On each side you'll find this aluminum spacer. Make sure the spacer is in all the way and not sticking out. On the bottom left side of the crossbar there are these two screws. You can loosen them with the tool that's included and you can adjust the width of this crossbar. After you adjust the width, you can tighten these back down. To tighten this, you can use the wrench that came with it, or use a 12 millimeter ratchet. Get the bolt started, and loosely tighten this. One thing I will say is make sure you don't cross thread the bolts, so take your time. Now for those of you who want to know specifically how much torque you need to apply to these bolts, the installation guide specifies 6 foot pound. Now go over to the other side and do the same thing. Once this is tightened, repeat the same procedure for the other crossbar, which I've done already. Now do not forget to also tighten the two adjustment screws at the bottom of the crossbar. I should mention the Allen wrench that they included is very poor quality. It's very easy to round off the head right here. So I would recommend you get a better quality Allen wrench when tightening those screws. Now we can install the end caps. And again, it's marked forward. Now this end cap is held in place by clips on this side and this side where you see a notch. And also there are two plastic holes that get seated in the middle right here. Here's a look at the finish install. The overall fit and finish is very good. I do notice the rubber gasket at the bottom right here. Like this one has some space right here. Whereas on the other one, this one is flush with the surface, but that's very minor. Here's a look from the front. Here's a look from the side. Here's a shot from the back. So for those of you who own a Toyota Highlander and would like to get the crossbar for your vehicle, I hope you found this video to be helpful. Overall, the installation was not difficult at all. It only requires you to install four bolts. The only minor complaint I have is the Allen wrench quality is not very good. Also the adjustment screw at the bottom is very shallow, so be very careful. You don't want to round off the head. Also when you're threading the four bolts into the roof of the vehicle, 
Make sure you start threading it in properly. If you feel any resistance, back off and try again. When I installed this, the front crossbar was a little tighter than the rear one, meaning the width was a bit more tighter. So you gotta be extra careful with threading that bolt in. The build quality of the crossbars are very good. Again, you can get it in black or silver. At the time of this install, the black one costs about $10, $20 cheaper than the silver one. And you can get these on Amazon. I will include the link for both of them in the description below. I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section. And don't forget to click on the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.